Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to go into your desktop in the Windows 11. So the first thing that you would like to do is just go and open your PC. Of course, this contains the Windows 11. Of course, if you are Windows, if you are a Windows 10 user, you can just go into your PC or into your settings and actually upgrade into your Windows 11 right now and for free. Of course, you can run the installation or download of Windows 11 into the background of your PC if you want to keep using it in the meanwhile. Your PC might be a bit slower, but it's not going to be a big problem. And once you actually do that, you will find yourself with a notification. Uh, once the download finish, of course, you will find yourself with a notification that's asking you to restart or to reboot your PC. And when you do that, you will find yourself with a Windows 11 ready to use. Of course, the upgrade from Windows 10 into 11 will not delete any files or apps from your PC, so don't worry about that. And of course, you'll have even a recovery points if you want to go back into your Windows 10 whenever you want. But I bet when you get used into the Windows 11, you will like it. When you get used to it, of course, you'll like it even much better than the Windows uh, 10. So, of course, as we said, we would like to go into our desktop on the Windows 11. So, how can we actually do that? Normally, on the Windows 10, if you are at something like maybe, uh, let's say as an example, we just open a new uh, file explorer. And let's say as an example, you have a lot of apps open and you don't want to keep like reducing them one by one. So, how can you actually go to your desktop right away of course there is the shortcut that's not a lot of people knows about if you want to go into your desktop simply you would like to go into your keyboard and click at windows d and as you can see that's close everything on your desktop so let me just fill my desktop with uh, something so let's say this as an example let's add this let's add a lot of those as well so as you can see we have here a lot opening if you want to close them all and go to desktop windows d and everything is closed of course you will even have the option of windows 10 which is let's say an example those are open let's just test with this too you can just go with your mouse into the corner of the down or the right bottom corner and simply click on it and as you can see if you just hover it that will uh, show you there show desktop if you click on it that will show your desktop so this will be actually for this tutorial hope you like it thank you guys for watching and goodbye